Hello everyone. So did you enjoy drawing different objects of various shapes yesterday? Great. Now it's time to learn about more shapes. Today we are going to talk about solid shapes. So are you ready? Let's begin. First of all, let us learn about the attributes that are to be observed while looking at the solid shapes. The first one is faces. The surface of a solid shape is called its face. Different shapes have different faces. There are shapes with rectangular or square face. For example, cube, cuboid, the sides of a prism and the base of a pyramid. There are some shapes with triangular faces also. For example, pyramid and prism. And there are shapes with circular face too. For example, cylinder and base of a cone. The other attributes are edges and corners. Edge is a place where two faces meet. And corner is a place where two edges meet. Now let's observe the attributes of this box. As you can see, this is the surface, which is the face of the box. Right? Now, the place where two faces meet forms the edge of the box. Right? Now, this is an edge and as we can see, here also the two faces meet and this forms an edge. Now the places where two edges meet form the corner of the box. So let's repeat. The face, the place where two faces meet form the edge and the place where two edges meet form the corner. Clear? Now let's learn the properties of different solid shapes. The first one with rectangular faces is called cuboid. The cuboid has 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 corners. Now let me explain this to you with an example. As you can see, this box has rectangular faces. So this is a cuboid. Now let's count its faces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Okay? All the four faces on the sides, top and bottom. So how many faces do we have? Six faces. Now let's count the edges of this box. One, two, three, four. Turn. Five, six, seven, eight. Now nine, ten, eleven and twelve. So we have 12 edges, right? Lastly, let's observe the corners of this box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So this box has 8 corners. So a cuboid has 8 corners, right? Now let's talk about the second shape with square faces. It is called cube. A cube has 6 faces, 12 edges and 8 corners. The only difference between a cube and a cuboid is that a cube has all square faces while a cuboid has rectangular faces. Now this is an example of a cube, right? As it has square faces. Now let's count the surfaces. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. So a cube also has 6 faces, right? 4 on the sides, top and bottom. Okay? Now let's count its edges. 1, 2, 3, 4. Done. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 
so four on the top four edges on the top four edges on bottom and four edges on side so in this way a cube has 12 edges now let's count its corners 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so a cube has only 8 corners 4 on the top and 4 on the bottom no other corners in between right now let's look at the third shape which is sphere a sphere has one face zero edges and zero corners a ball is an example of sphere as you can see it has only one face as you slide your hand on the ball you'll not find any edge right so it has zero edge and zero corners also right so a sphere has only one face now let's observe the next shape which is cylinder a cylinder has three faces two edges and zero corners this pen is an example of cylinder let's see how many faces does this have as you can see it has one curved face over here right it has one flat face on the top and one flat face on the bottom. So, a cylinder has three faces. Top, bottom and the curved side face. Now, let's count the edges. It has one round edge over here. One round edge on the bottom also. So, top and bottom, two edges. As we can see, it's smooth here. In between there is no edge right so two edges and now let's find the corners can you see any corner over here no a cylinder does not have any corner now let's observe the last shape for today which is cone a cone has two faces one edge and one corner now here we have an example of a cone. Let's study its faces. One curved face as you can see. This is one face and one on the bottom. So totally a cone has two faces. Now let's count the edges. It has only one edge on the bottom. As you can see its top does not have any edge. It has one corner on the top and one edge on the bottom. Right? It's time to try on your own. Draw two objects having the following shapes. Enjoy drawing. Identify the two solid shapes in the following objects. Now observe this pencil carefully and tell me which two solid shapes combine to form the shape of this pencil. Come on, think. The answer is cylinder and cone. The top part of the pencil is made up of cylinder while the bottom part is of cone shape. Now observe this ice cream cone. Identifying the two shapes will be quite easy. Correct. Cone plus spheres. There are three spheres on the top and one cone at the bottom. Now observe this hut and tell me which are the two shapes. Yes, it's cone at the top and cuboid at the bottom. This exercise was quite easy, wasn't it?